please like and subscribe for our channel growth. Cops let Muslims blast illegal prayer call, so fed up locals take matter into own hands. When Muslims began illegally blaring the call to prayer from their minarets at ungodly hours, the police turned a blind eye to the disruption. So, fed up locals decided that if the authorities won't do anything, they'll have to fix the issue themselves. In the name of multiculturalism, Europe opened its borders to mass migration. Unfortunately, this allowed in millions who adhere to a culture and ideology that not only disparages freedom, tolerance, and diversity but subsequently outlaws it once its numbers and influence grow. After decades of liberal immigration policies, the vast majority of refugees and migrants to Sweden are Muslim men, most of whom harbor oppressive, supremacist values coinciding with Sharia law. One such tenet is that the unbelievers must be made to feel subdued by both violent and intimidating tactics. Of course, according to the Quran, any complaints warrant a horrific execution, per Islam's blasphemy laws. As patriots and ex-Muslims have tirelessly warned, when Sweden's most tolerant town welcomed in Muslim migrants in the name of diversity, they soon discovered that their tolerance wouldn't be reciprocated. Like clockwork, the tiny minority began implementing intimidation tactics such as unnecessarily blasting the adhan, call to prayer. After local authorities turned a blind eye to the hate speech and peace disturbance illegally coming from the mosque's minarets, the people realized that they are going to have to do for themselves. According to Sweden's Sveriges Radio, after police ignored a mosque in Vaxjo broadcasting the raucous call to prayer over its minaret loudspeakers without a valid license, the townspeople rallied together, flooding the police station with complaints and demands, forcing officers to charge the mosque with several violations. Despite the Muslim community's protests that they are simply practicing their religion, authorities have finally cracked down on the civil disturbance, which may warrant hefty fines against the Islamic Center. Police confirmed that they have been aware of the mosque's illegal broadcast for several years. However, they have done nothing until just recently, when hordes of local residents raised their voices to demand the prayer calls be banned, not only for violating their permit but for hate speech against other religions. It's serious when an organization commits a crime. You must have permission to broadcast propaganda or other messages, Ola Severinsen of the Vaxjo police said. Unless the case is dismissed by the prosecution, the which